In a shocking twist of events, General Motors and Ford find themselves in the midst of an electrifying crisis. These automotive giants, once at the top of their game, are now facing a dark cloud of uncertainty. As we dive deeper into this gripping narrative, it's clear that both GM and Ford are on the brink of disaster. Thousands of hard-working employees are being handed pink slips, and the very future of these iconic companies hangs in the balance. Yes, you heard it right, folks. More than $5 billion in losses and over 1,000 workers losing their jobs in a single week, a catastrophe of epic proportions. Are we witnessing the biggest automotive car crash of the century? Stay tuned to find out. But why are these automotive giants struggling to sell electric vehicles, EVs? Is the promise of EVs just a mirage? In this TV exclusive, we unravel the crisis gripping Ford and GM, exposing why buying an EV might be a colossal mistake right now. Prepare yourselves, for General Motors is teetering on the edge of closure, and you won't believe who's pulling the strings. Before we delve into that shocking revelation, let's examine how the American powerhouse, Ford, is faring in the electrifying race. Hold on to your seats, folks. Ford is bleeding money, losing a staggering $36,000 with each EV sold. Can you imagine the madness of selling something at a loss greater than the price of a brand new car? The situation has gotten so dire that Ford's electric vehicle division reports an eye-watering operating loss of $1.3 billion in just one quarter, doubling their loss from the previous year. The alarms are blaring at Ford's headquarters, but why is this happening? Ford cites their substantial investments in EV development and challenging market dynamics as the culprits. It seems they're pouring money into these futuristic electric cars, but the sales aren't keeping pace. But here's the twist, dear viewers. Many North American customers are unwilling to fork out premium prices for luxury EVs when gas and hybrid vehicles offer comparable options at a lower cost. Brace yourselves, as we reveal the shocking truth behind their decisions. Ford's troubles don't end there. Their highly anticipated F-150 Lightning, the electric truck hailed as a game-changer, has come to a screeching halt. Production has ceased, and CEO Jim Farley urges everyone to view Ford as a startup, ignoring the colossal losses. Now, let's shift our focus to General Motors, where the situation takes an even darker turn. Over 1,000 workers are handed their pink slips in a single week, while controversies abound, and the company's reputation is in tatters. At the epicenter of this storm is GM CEO Mary Barra, making critical decisions that raise eyebrows. The company faces a multitude of issues, from plummeting EV sales to troubles within their self-driving car unit, Cruz. Mary Barra boldly declares that GM won't lower prices, prioritizing luxury EVs over affordable models, effectively ignoring the common man's needs. In a shocking turn of events, GM's ambitious plan to produce 400,000 EVs by mid-2024 has crumbled. Demand for their EVs is virtually non-existent. Imagine throwing a grand party, and no one shows up. That's the grim reality. They've postponed the production of their electric trucks, including the Chevy Silverado EV and GMC Sierra EV, from 2024 to late 2025. A red flag waves ominously before us. GM is making tough calls, from cost-cutting measures to delaying factory plans and executing stock buybacks to appease shareholders. But the elephant in the room is Cruz, the robo-taxi unit turned nightmare after a tragic incident claimed a pedestrian's life. Operations have ground to a halt, top executives have resigned, and layoffs loom large. Let's not forget the workers caught in this whirlwind. GM is slashing 1,300 jobs as they wind down production of the Chevy Bolt and Camaro. The Orion assembly plant, where these layoffs occur, will only be operational for electric trucks by 2028. Imagine the heartache of these workers, dedicating their lives to their jobs, only to be left jobless. Returning to Ford's CEO, Jim Farley, here's a surprising revelation. The carmaker's mandate aims to have 67% of all new cars be electric by 2032. But should carmakers be heeding politicians' advice over their customers' needs? Are EVs truly the way forward, or is there a hidden agenda? Share your thoughts in the comments below. 
Don't touch that remote, as we've just uncovered groundbreaking news that could send shockwaves through the entire EV industry. Stay tuned for more shocking revelations in this unfolding drama.